lead 2 plus is more stable than tin 2 plus and other two questions are lead chloride is more stable than tin chloride and lead chloride is better oxidizing agent than uh, tin chloride so these are the three questions in this video lecture we discuss about answer of these three questions these three questions having same answer uh, watch this video lecture discussion uh, up to the end to understand the answer to get uh, uh, know that uh, what is the answer of this uh, of these three questions hello everybody i am atanu betal uh, and we are before starting the video lecture uh, i would like to remind you that if you are new to this channel or you do not subscribe this channel then you can subscribe it right now let's start the discussions regarding these three uh, questions lead 2 plus is more stable than tin 2 plus here look at the electronic configuration of lead uh, here in the electronic configuration of lead uh, this is the uh, configuration in terms of uh, orbitals 1s 2s 2p etc and uh, in terms short short notation uh, the electronic configuration of lead is this one where you can see the this two electron uh, 6s2 and 6p2 in the last uh, uh, two orbitals 6s orbital and 6p orbital uh, last two orbitals the number of electron 2 plus 2 4 so for this reason in case of uh, carbon and silicon uh, germanium tin lead means group 14 elements the oxidation state uh, uh, are available oxidation state are plus 2 and plus 4 but in case of uh, the lower member of this group you can see the plus 2 oxidation state uh, become more stable and plus 4 oxidation state become less stable for the higher member of this group so for this reason the lead lead is present at the bottom of this group and lead is considered as the heavier metal uh, so for uh, high, heavier member of this group so uh, as we uh, go down in the uh, group 14 that time uh, the inert pair effect occur this is called inert pair effect inert pair effect as we uh, go down uh, in the group 14 uh, group 14 uh, what happens the elements are showing uh, more stable plus 2 oxidation state means plus 2 oxidation state of lead is more stable than plus 4 oxidation state okay as we go down in group 14 the stability of the plus 2 oxidation state increases so for this reason uh, the lead 2 plus is more stable and why load lead 4 plus is uh, less stable or lead chloride is less stable because as we know that lead 2 plus is the more stable oxidation state than lead 4 plus so lead 4 plus easily uh, 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 gains electron to change it uh, to lead 2 plus so for this reason lead 4 plus or lead chloride is uh, stable uh, than SN, essential 4 because in case of SN uh, you know the uh, lead is present uh, below SN in this group 14 so for this reason the stability of plus 2 oxidation state is more in case of lead than the plus 2 oxidation state in case of tin so as the plus 2 oxidation state stability is more in case of lower member so for this reason if we compare these two elements tin and lead the low plus 2 oxidation state is more stable in case of lead than in case of tin and for this reason lead metal for lead metal plus 4 oxidation state easily get uh, reduced and plus 4 oxidation state easily gaining electron changes to plus 2 oxidation state so for this reason lead chloride is less stable than sn uh, cl4 lead chloride is better oxidizing agent than uh, sn cl4 okay lead chloride is better oxidizing agent means lead chloride uh, 
can oxidize other chemical substance easily but it itself reduce because uh, higher oxidation state of lead is unstable it uh, it has a tendency to change the higher oxidation state to lower oxidation state as the lower oxidation state for the lower members more stable for this reason lead is uh, better or uh, or you can say more stronger oxidizing agent than the tin or uh, tin chloride so for this reason the third question the lead chloride is better oxidizing agent than tin chloride the answer is that in case of lead uh, the plus 2 oxidation state is more stable compared to uh, the plus 2 oxidation state of tin where uh, lesser inert pair effect occur here more inert pair effect occur because greater inert pair effect means greater stability of the lower oxidation state so uh, here in down the group the inert pair effect this one inert pair effect increases okay effect of inert pair uh, uh, inert pair increases down the group and as a result the lead lead having the maximum inert pair effect in this group and its plus 2 oxidation state is more stable than the plus 2 oxidation state of tin so the two answers two points you have to remember in your mind that if we compare the oxidation state plus 2 and plus 4 of tin and lead plus 2 oxidation states uh, plus 2 oxidation state is more stable for these two elements and if we compare the plus 2 oxidation state of lead and plus 2 oxidation state of tin that time plus 2 plus 2 oxidation state of tin is uh, less stable and plus 2 oxidation state of lead is more stable due to inert pair effect okay as we go down the group the inert pair effect goes increasing okay inert pair effect goes on increasing and for this reason the inert pair effect of the lead uh, and uh, uh, inert pair effect in case of lead is more than the inert pair effect in case of tin and for this reason the uh, the these three questions the, these three question we can answer these three question using this uh, reason that why uh, the, this means lead 2 plus more stable than tin 2 plus or uh, lead chloride is more stable than tin chloride etc uh, uh, means last question the answer can be given by this logic that the plus 2 oxidation state of the lower member of the group is more stable than plus 4 and the plus uh, 2 oxidation state of the lower member is more stable so using these two concepts you can answer this problem that why uh, uh, these three uh, things happen so this is the explanation of the uh, three questions uh, you can see the full electronic configuration for the lead having atomic number 82 82 atomic number and its electronic configuration is this one 6s2 and 6p2 and by losing uh, two electrons at first when it loses two electrons the electrons are lost from the p orbital okay because s orbital uh, s, uh, s orbital electrons are more attracted by the nucleus s orbital electrons so due to the inert pair effect uh, the s orbital electrons uh, becoming inert and the first uh, 6p electron uh, loss occur loss of 6p electron occur after uh, 6s electron loss occur so here this uh, 6p electron uh, is lost first and after that the 6 uh, 6s electron becoming inert because it's heavier uh, because of its higher size uh, or sorry larger size and uh, the higher oxidation state uh, is uh, less favorable in case of this uh, lead metal due to the inert pair effect actually the what is the reason of inert pair effect i would discuss about this point in a separate video that why the inert pair effect occurs what is the reason because or uh, reason of inert pair effect i would discuss about this point in a separate video in this video i am uh, trying to clear the point that uh, the for these three question the key point uh, that we use to answer these three key questions uh, or three questions the key points what is the key point i am trying to clear the key, key points for these three uh, questions uh, 
to answer these three questions so that's the the discussion regarding this uh, three uh, regarding this topic i think you understand uh, this discussion if you still have any question regarding this discussion then you can ask me in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell button also to get the new video upload notifications that's it